In this video, I will show you how to use a reed switch with an Arduino. A reed switch is an electronic sensor that acts like a button or a switch, but is activated by the presence of a nearby magnetic field instead of pressing on it. One of the nice things about a reed switch, as you can see here, is that it works independently of the magnet's orientation and it does not require contact, which allows you to add a variety of non-contact sensing options to your Arduino projects. Let's zoom in as close as we can and take a look at a reed switch. The reed switch is a glass capsule with two very thin metal plates inside. In a normally open switch, there is a small gap between these plates so they are not touching each other. In the presence of a nearby magnetic field, these plates will bend slightly, coming into contact with each other and closing the circuit. Now, these glass capsules are usually pretty fragile and can break if you bend the wires to put them into a breadboard. So you can also buy reed switches encapsulated in plastic where this is a little sturdier and you don't have to worry about breaking the glass when you bend the leads. So this is the type I will be using in this project. I will use one of the glass ones here so we can attempt to zoom in as far as possible and let you see how the movement of these metal plates is extremely subtle. You probably can't see it with your naked eye. There is a very tiny gap between them when the circuit is open and then they move just a little bit when the switch closes and they touch each other. In this video, we're not really going to get too into the physics of how these switches work. We are going to focus more on how you can use them with an Arduino. Before we do that, I want to mention that I've already shown the glass and plastic encapsulated versions of the sensor, but they do come in other packages. For example, this one is specifically designed for mounting on a window or door to detect when it is closed. So one side of this just has an embedded permanent magnet with screw holes so you can mount it on the window or door. And then the other side has the reed switch inside with wires coming out to connect to your Arduino with screw holes so you can mount it to the window or door frame. You also don't have to use a bar magnet. Pretty much any other type of magnet will work. For example, here I have a magnetic pet collar tag. If I wanted to do something like detect when a pet is getting near something or going in and out of a pet door. Let's now zoom in and take a look at the wiring on the breadboard. And here I want to note that if this is the first video in our Arduino tutorial series that you are watching because you Googled how to use a reed switch with an Arduino, but you have never used an Arduino before, you should check out the introductory videos in our playlist linked in the description of this one that will show you how to do things like set up your Arduino for the first time, use a breadboard, and connect LEDs. I'm not going to review all of that information in this video, so again, if you don't know how to do that, check out the playlist in the intro videos linked in the description. On the breadboard here, I have an LED connected to Arduino pin 2 with a 220 ohm current limiting resistor in series with the LED going to ground. And then I have my reed switch, so the switch has two pins in two different rows of the breadboard. One of those pins goes to 5 volts from the Arduino. The other pin is connected to ground through an external 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor. If you go back and watch our video about buttons, you will get an explanation for why that external resistor is needed with a switch like this. And then we have the middle pin, so between the resistor and the switch here, connected to digital pin 8 on the Arduino. So very simple wiring, very similar to what you would do for a normal push button. Again, if you go back and watch that video in our series, and finally, note that the 5 volts and ground here are connected over to 5 volts and ground on the Arduino to power the circuit. If we take a look at the code, it is pretty much identical to the code you would use for controlling an LED with a regular push button. First, I declare two constant variables for my pins, one for the read switch pin and one for the LED pin. I then declare a variable for the state of the read switch input pin. And in my setup function, I use the pin mode command to set the LED pin as an output and the read switch pin as an input. In my loop function, I then use the digital read command to read the state of the sensor pin and store that in the read state variable. Finally, I have an if else statement that checks if the read state variable is high, meaning the switch is closed and a magnet is detected nearby in which case I use the digital write command to turn the LED on. Otherwise, I turn the LED off. So again, these switches open up an interesting range of non-contact sensing possibilities for your Arduino projects, like detecting a magnetic tag on a pet collar. 
for a list of science projects you can do with an Arduino, check out the links in the video description. And for over a thousand other fun hands-on projects in all areas of science and engineering, visit our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.